Today, we are bringing you with us to the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. I have so much to do. <laughs> we need to figure out outfits for us and five kids. And Bailey is asking for a shocking change to her hair. I look really good with short hair, you guys. You guys get to come with us to the Kids' Choice Awards after party and the pre-party and the pre-pre-party and the pre-pre-pre-party. I can't believe that they closed down a whole amusement park for us. And it's the 25th birthday of SpongeBob SquarePants, which means there's gonna be a lot of surprises along the way. This is an extra special Kids' Choice Awards for us because it will be Luke's first time ever attending, and he does not know what to expect. But we are going to help prep him to make it the best day ever. And make sure you watch to the end to see a super fun dance party with some of our favorite stars. But before we do any of that, you need to see how they invited us. We got a package from Bikini Bottom! We really want to invite you to the Kids' Choice Award! Yeah. The shell knows all, so ask the conch, magic conch shell, am I going to the Kids' Choice Awards on July 13th? Is this the Krusty Krab? <laughs> but your answer is yes! We only had a couple of days before the first event, so Jessica and Bailey headed out to figure out what we were going to wear. Bailey and I are shopping for our Kids' Choice Awards looks. We're gonna focus on her first. Yes. And then, if, if I find something, I find something, but we're gonna try to probably focus all of our outfits off of her. We'll see. See anything you like? Is that pants or a, a dress? It's a dress. Cute. Interesting one. Ooh, this is very soft. Oh, that's cute. I like Let's it. See. What's the size on this one? Eight. So let me find something smaller. I love it. It's very flowy. Yes. And this. Aw, cute. What do you think of this one? I think it's so cute. Bailey, what do you think of this one? Yes. Ooh, that is so cute. I love that. Okay, I can't wait to see. I picked out a bunch of cute outfits to try on. Tell me which one's your favorite in the comments. How do you feel about this one? I think it's, um, the sequins keeps like flipping up in weird ways. All right. I think maybe not this one. So no sequins. Yeah, but I like it. Nice. Oh, very cute. I love this one. What do you think? I think it's really nice. Very nice. Oh, I like that. It's very like kind of French. I love that one. Do you like it? Yeah. What's your favorite so far? Um, probably this one. Hmm. All right. I love this one. Oh, it's so cool. Like, this might be my favorite one. <gasps> yes, we have a favorite. I like that. Here, wait. Turn around really quick. That has interesting lines. I guess it's the sides. Wait, am I seeing pockets? This is the one. <laughs> All right. You want to try on the rest? Yeah. Ooh. I really like it. I don't think it's perfect for the kids' choice ones, though. Okay. But I do really like it. It's very cute. You look very princess. I do. <laughs> Are there pockets? Legendary. Love that. You look so cute in it though. Thank you. Is it a no? You like the other one better? Yes. Oh, cutie. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> you don't seem to love it. Not like the others. Um, yeah, not as much, but I do like it. Oh, cutie. Love it. I like it, but not as much as the other Okay, all right, I love it. Oh, so cute. Do you like it? Yeah. And which one, this one or the other one? I think the other one. All right, I love it. You know what you want. I like that. Oh, this is so cute. Hi. <laughs> what happened? There was hair in my eye, and then it all right, all right. was off out of my eye. 
I like it. It's kind of like pajamas. Yeah, I, it's definitely very like summery. Yeah, that's nice. So what do you think? Did the... I don't know. I'm really bad at choosing these things. Why don't you choose? Actually, well, I just, I really do like this. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. Before we reveal Bailey's final decision, we have to make sure Luke knows exactly what he's in for in the coming days. Do you know what the Kids' Choice Awards is? Uh huh. What is it? It has bouncing pong pong. Bouncing pong pong? Uh huh. And it's a ride. It's a ride? With one person. With one person. It seems like Luke thinks this is what the Kids' Choice Awards is like. Clearly, it's time for a crash lesson, and hopefully, he'll be ready in time for the big day. One way we like to help our kids get ready for big events is to show them videos and talk with them about what they're watching. This will be Luke's first time going to the Kids' Choice Awards, and since we've gone, we actually have some video of some of the pre-party stuff and the actual event. Would you like to see what it looks like? Uh-huh. Okay, so you want to watch a video about it? Uh-huh. Okay, let's watch a video together. You want to go there? Uh-huh. That was different. <gasps> Ferris wheel! I love Ferris wheel. Looks like Duncan likes Ferris wheels, too. Are you going to eat a lot of food? Uh-huh. What kind of food do you want to get? I want to get churros. Churros? They have churros. Look, there's churros. <laughs> you totally knew there were churros. I'm going to go on a lot of those rides. Would you go on that ride? Uh-huh. I see Dad. You saw me? I don't see me. You weren't there. Oh. Oh, can I go on that? I think so. Can I bump on Parker? You're going to bump Parker? Uh-huh. Oh, man. They're spinning around. That gets a city. I want to go on that ride. You wanna go on that ride? Uh-huh. I don't, that's a scary ride. That's a scary ride? So you don't wanna go on it? Or you like that kind of scary ride? I like that scary ride. I like all of those rides. Look at Parker. Look at it's getting darker. It's getting darker? Uh-huh. Would you wanna stay there even though it's dark? Uh-huh. And see the stars. And see the stars? Uh-huh. And see the moon. I don't know if you'll be tall enough for the roller coaster. Yes. I sure do. I can. You sure do? I can go on the, the roller coaster. Oh, well, we're going to go on the Ferris wheel. How are you feeling about the Ferris wheel is my favorite. So that was just the party the day before. That wasn't even the Kids' Choice Awards yet. Do you want to see what the Kids' Choice Awards are like? Mm -hmm. So we're getting all dressed up to go to the awards show. You see how we're wearing special outfits? Mm -hmm. Do you have a special outfit picked out for the Kids' Choice Awards? Uh -huh. What color is it? It's green. Uh -huh. Remember when Duncan wore those boots? Uh -huh. Yeah. He picked those boots out. He was very proud of those boots. He still has those boots. He does still have them. Does that look like fun? Mm -hmm. This food there? Uh, not at this part, but there will be food, yeah. Churros or ice cream? <laughs> I don't know if they'll have churros or ice cream. What? What is that called? Special popcorn that makes you, <laughs> your mouth <laughs> smoke. It's really cold. Cotton candy. I don't have cotton candy. Can I get a lot of cotton candy? Maybe. Are you excited about the Kids' Choice Awards? Mm -hmm. Yeah? What are you most excited about doing? I don't like the slime. I like only the ice cream. And <laughs> so you're more about the food than the slime. Mm -hmm. Do you? So you don't want to get slimed. Do you want to see other people get slimed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that fun? Mm -hmm. That's pretty funny, huh? Mama's not getting slime either. Mama's not getting. Did you know Mama did get slimed once? What? I didn't think I'd have to get him used to sliming. Mommy's gonna do it. A little bit has slime. A little bit. Oh, mommy got slimed. On his head. On her head. Yeah, she totally got slimed. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Look at. At the Kids Choice Awards, you see a lot of people get slimed. That's not us. Bailey, Jacob. Duncan and Parker like slime and they like doing the activities that have Can to do with slime. I, 
Can I play with the slime? Oh, totally you can play with the slime. Uh -huh. and, and, and I can, and I can. So you like to play with slime with your hands, you just don't like it on your head? Uh-huh. Okay, sounds good. Uh -huh. Are you excited? Yeah, oh, two-sided high five, I'm for it. We thought we had everything planned out, but then Bailey shocked us by requesting a pretty extreme change to her looks. I'm planning on cutting my hair short for the- That PCs. short? Yeah, uh, like to my chin, short, and it's gonna be awesome. Do you have a, like a picture of what you're hoping it to look like? No, I actually have no idea, but I, uh, my hair looks really good when it's short, so I don't really have a problem with whatever, whatever happens with it. Oh, she's got some short hair confidence. I, yeah, I mean, I look really good with short hair, you guys. All right, so this is Bailey's before. Let's see your before. Now we have to figure out how to get Bailey a haircut before the first event, which happens tomorrow morning. Luckily, we were able to book something last minute and get her in for a haircut. Oh my goodness, Bailey, it's happening. Uh, that is inches. It looks so cute already, though. <laughs> how are you feeling? Good. You excited? Yeah. How's it feeling? Good. It looks good. Oh my goodness, how do you feel? Good. You like it? Yeah. It's so cute. How's it feeling? Amazing. You love it? You look so cute. So Thank cute. What's the process? Good. It was very, it was very fast. Yeah. Well, you look very grown up. Now we need to style it and get you all ready for the okay. Kids' Choice Awards. Would you like a haircut as well? But shave that over. Shave that over? That's your plan? How are you going to do your haircut? So we shave this over. You're going to shave that over. And first. So you're going to shave all of this. And what are we doing with the sides? Let's see the sides of your head. What are we going to do? What are we going to do over here? Uh, we're going to... We're going to... We're going to do this. Okay. How long do you want your hair on the top? At the top? Yeah, show me with your fingers. Like, how long do you want your hair? Do you want it this long, this long, this long, this long? How long do you want it? I want this long. That long on the top of your head. How about on the sides? How long do you want it on the sides? Uh, small. Small on the sides? What about on the back, back here? Back here. Yeah. It doesn't have any hair. It doesn't have any hair? Let's uh -uh. see. Let's turn this way. Let's see. I don't know. There's some hair back there. There's some hair. I definitely see the hair. Do you want to go inside and get a haircut? Mm-hmm. Oh. And watch a movie. You're going to watch a movie while you get a haircut? Uh -huh. I was planning on showing a before and after of Luke's hair, but he didn't hold still much for the before and definitely didn't hold still for the after. So you'll have to notice it as he runs by later in the vlog. It is the day before the Kids Choice Awards and there is a big party that Nickelodeon is throwing that we are going to today. We have special outfits picked out and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm pretty proud of these labels that I made out of sparkling water containers to organize the 14 outfits we need for the next few days. What's going on, Jake? So I have a serious problem and that is that I am very sunburned. Man, you got this before the 4th of July. Yeah, it's still so not you can yet. even see like where my tan line was for my watch. <laughs> it just fits so perfectly. So, so it I, looks like you put sunscreen. You put sunscreen. Yes, on I put your on arm, sunscreen like but I this. I guess you stopped there. Yeah. Oh. And then I think I put it on here too, but I washed my hands a couple times because I went to the library and like washed off my hands. Um, and you can even see I've got sunburn here. So I was like going like that, I think. So you can see I missed. Like when it's I just like got you've it. Got a thumbprint here. Yeah. From when I just got it, you could actually see like my fingers. So I don't want people to freak out because that looks terrifying. So I'm gonna try and make this sock into a wristband. Can I so have that? Almost wristband? covered up. I, 
I just, I don't want people to freak out. So, uh, I'm gonna try and cut up the sock. It's also nice because it's SpongeBob. It started. Um, there's no going back now. So it's gonna be something like that. I don't know if this looks good. Here first. There. Okay. Let's see. Does that look fashionable? Yes. Looks like I just cut a sock. <laughs> we are getting our final touches done on our outfits, but so far we're looking pretty good. <laughs> Luke requested something and Jacob just made it for him with the rest of the sock. Oh, matchy bros! I got the small one. <laughs> matchy no, bros! No, I got a big one and you got a small yeah, one. Yeah, matchy bros. <laughs> okay, you guys want to take some pictures? Yeah! Yes, yeah. yeah. After taking some pictures of our outfits, we hopped in the van and headed for the hotel where Nickelodeon was hosting the first of several parties. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Luke was obsessed with this claw machine and really wanted to win a gummy hamburger. Look at I come up! A big Oh! Can I get one? Oh, no, oh, oh. oh. Wait, can it be for me? Can I check sure. After many failed attempts at getting a piece of candy, Luke noticed a giant table with friendly people there to hand you whatever piece of candy you wanted. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you want one to start, kick off. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're gonna eat it? Wow. It's kind of sour. Do you like it? it? Good? They also had a bunch of party favors available, including the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, some shades, AirPod cases, 50th anniversary Rubik's Cubes, hoodies, and soap. Luke decided he still wanted to get one of those claw machine hamburger candies, so he enlisted the help of his big brother to win one for him. They also had an area where we could each pick out one item of clothing to take home with us. Just outside, they offered a lovely spread of fresh veggies and acai bowls, plus a station where you could get your nails done in SpongeBob-themed colors. What color did you pick? Green. Green. You picked plankton? Plankton green? Yes, plankton green. Very cool. But the real life of the party was SpongeBob himself, with Luke being a close second. We hung out poolside for a bit in one of the reserved cabanas where we found even more fun SpongeBob stuff. I got candy! Oh, I got a lot a of candy! A secret, what's a secret? Squidward! Duncan got that pin from one of the mystery pin boxes they were handing out. SpongeBob! 
It was fun watching the kids trying to find every pin in the collection. Look, Dad, it matches my heels. Yep, another SpongeBob. They're making a hat. They're making a hat? There was another area of the party where you could customize a hat by deciding on a design and then embroidering anything you wanted. Luke wanted his name. <laughs> oh my goodness. What do you say? Looks good. Looks good. It's slimy. Wait. It's slimy music. It's slimy music. What's it say on the back on the side? I love done. Yeah, I can't make it the whole word. Because it only allowed ten letters. After that, it was time to board a shuttle for party number two. We're about to go to the pier. It's going to be amazing. We're all in a shuttle right now. And very cool little lights up there. Nickelodeon took over the Pacific Park area of the Santa Monica Pier so their invited guests could eat, play games, and ride the rides for free. <laughs> See a small ride? Uh-huh. They had also set up some fun activities around the pier, like the Science of SpongeBob, which was presented by Nickelodeon, Our World, and the Museum of Natural History, Los Angeles. There they had preserved specimens of the species of marine life that inspired the characters in SpongeBob SquarePants. And a very cool way for kids to learn about collecting data and DNA sequencing. First, the kids would catch a character from a small pool. Then they would collect a DNA sample and test it to find out what species they had found. Oh, great job. Hey, stomach? Great job. Yeah. You want to put him in our collection too? You want to put our sample in the tube? Great job. You're great at collecting DNA. My goodness. They put their sample in a big machine that would extract, amplify, and sequence the DNA. Go ahead and we'll start hand cranking. Great job. Let's press the buttons. Oh, that's so cool. Great job. Look, look. Over here, over here. You can grab that. Now you can grab your genetic sequence. Then they matched their results with DNA sequences on a chart to find out what kind of sea creature they caught at the start. Now, what, what do looks you the think? same? Does what that look the same? the same? Does that one look the same? That one? That one? This one? That yeah, one? Yeah, Pizaster orcrisis. That is a sea star. Oh, cool. You get a sticker of Patrick and a list of fun facts. As a parent, this is the exact kind of hands on fun learning that I love my kids to experience. You wanna go on some rides? Are you squishing me already? We haven't even started. They did not let me record while riding the scrambler, but this was Luke's reaction coming off the ride. Last time we came here, everybody wanted to go on rides. It was rides the whole time, and this time is very much playing the games. So that is what we are focusing on, is playing the games and winning the prizes.
win that for you? <laughs> That's what he wanted. He was like, I didn't know they'd even have one. And the, the whole car ride, he was like, I want a red panda. I hope I get a red panda. In this whack-a-mole game, you are competing against everyone else to be the first player to reach 150 points. Luke won this round with a little help from dad, but he didn't need any help picking out his prize. Oh, don't eat it. Don't, it's not real. It's not real. And I'm pretty sure this game is unwinnable. By the end of the night, we had collected quite a bit of stuffed animal prizes. What'd you get? Cotton candy! Enjoy a ride on the scrambler! And after one last scramble on the scrambler, it was time to head home. The next morning, Bailey and Jessica woke up early to get their hair and makeup done at the salon. Oh my goodness, Bailey, it looks so great. Thank you. How do you feel? Amazing. Yay. Oh, Bailey, who's that behind you? <laughs> my best friend. It's your best buddy? Yeah. Well, you look really nice. And I'm glad you've made friends. <laughs> I didn't even think about doing like it before. I was so tired, but here we are now. Fancy. Hi. I think Jessica had a little more to say about the experience, but hit stop instead of record on the camera and then record instead of stop. Oh my goodness, I've been recording this whole time. <laughs> so, so Bailey and I just realized that all the footage I got at the salon. <laughs> That was really fun and engaging. It was very fun and engaging. You guys are missing out. <laughs> yeah, it was the best, best footage ever, really. Basically, what I did the whole time was I turned it on to record, which was actually turning it off. And then anytime I w thought I was turning it off, I was actually turning it on. So it's a lot of footage of like floor and feet <laughs> and like multiple takes <laughs> of me basically turning off the camera. Right, when my, I'm like, yeah, I'm like putting the camera away or something. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all the footage we got in the slot. So this is why Christopher's needed when we're recording. was one where it looked like you like dropped your phone. <laughs> yep. So this is why we need Christopher here when we're filming things because he knows how to turn cameras on and off. And I'm I, still I learning know how that. To turn cameras on. You could have done it, Bailey. I could have. But she was busy. So I don't know. I, I think you probably missed all of our reveal and our hair footage, but like this is us, this is our looks. Are you happy? Yes. Yes. Feel very orange. Like I said that like it has to be like this and then it like settles in. Um, but it's that's new for me. Very <laughs> contoured. But it's just our tan that we got last yeah, we this just, morning. We just got a tan this <laughs> just morning. Happened, yeah, it's, it's all natural. It just happened. We were inside all day. I don't even know. Like, what happened there? You know when we were doing it was when I dropped the phone down. That was when I went out and I that got was, a tan then. Yeah, that was yeah, when you we, missed got, all that we, got, we got a magic tan. All right. 
trying to go home. Last night was super fun. Did you uh, did you get anything that you liked? Candy. You got some candy. Uh, we had so much fun at the pre party or the pre pre party or the pre 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 party. There was the pre 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 party and the pre pre party. So first we had the pre 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 party, then the pre party at the pier. That's a lot of peas. Pre pre party at the pier. Yeah. I'm getting confused. And now we're having a pre party. And now we're going today. to a pre party, and then the KCAs, and then the after party. Wow, that's a lot of parties. Is there an after 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 party? Probably at our house. Let's go. <laughs> we are in that frantic get ready mode, getting our outfits on, making sure everything looks nice, taking a couple pictures, and then we're getting in the car and we're going to the pre party. I seriously uh, need coffee. You seriously need coffee? Yes. I think pre, we all pre, seriously pre need some coffee. I'm. I'm a sleepy one. Once we all had our outfits on, it was time to take a few pictures and then we were off to the official creator pre-party. All right, we made it. We parked and now we're heading to the, uh, the, the creator pre-party. That's a big SpongeBob. Look at all these airplanes. Whoa, that is a big SpongeBob Jacob was asked by Sean Does Magic to do his very best SpongeBob impersonation. You know what? I, I, I can make a, a, you know, a decent effort. Yeah, yeah, I, I tried. Right, right. <laughs> that is a big SpongeBob. Look at this, it's beautiful. It's a SpongeBob grilled cheese. There were a lot of cool things to do and see in the outdoor area of the party, and even more to do inside. They had set up this cool space where you ran through three scenes and a camera on a dolly followed you to each new scene. Three, two, one, start dancing, start moving! All right, let's go to the next one! Please, Gabby Patty! Good job! Let's go to the next one! Lean inside! Lean inside! Man, play! Good job, Ethan. And here's what they recorded for Parker. Here's what Bailey, Jacob, Parker, and Duncan came up with. And now it's Luke's turn.
I don't know what this is, but I love it. What is that? I have no idea. You don't know. It's like a fish tank. How do you get to the ingredients? Oh, wow. After sitting in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, it was time to head over to the auditorium and find our seats for the award show. Did you get a cotton candy? All right, we are leaving the pre-party and heading over to the show, to sit in the audience and watch the show. I have tickets and water, both things. Everyone in the audience was screaming excitedly, and I forgot to bring Luke's sensory headphones. So I wasn't entirely sure how he would respond to everything. I was actually a little worried I was gonna have to walk out with him. I did my best to cover his ears whenever the crowd got really loud, which happened surprisingly often. For me, it was such a cool experience to feel the energy of the crowd. It was infectious. Everyone seemed to be so excited to be there. Everyone was having such a good time. Anytime a celebrity would show up or even be mentioned, a new wave of electricity ran through the crowd. It was so much fun. After a while, my fears of how Luke would do during the show melted away. He loved it. He even made me stop covering his ears and ventured off my lap during the commercial breaks to talk to everyone else about how the show was. Everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go.
Once the show was done, it was time to head over to the after party. Art. It looks like slime. Oh, look at that. Looks tasty. Let's try one. Let's bring it over here. So Bailey is a little starstruck right now. She she keeps meeting people and re-meeting people. People that she's met before that she's very excited about. I'm very excited. Who did you just meet? A Walker Scobologist. And who else? And McKenna Grace. Everyone we met was super nice. Walker remembered who we were, McKenna had seen some of our videos, and Ian went hunting for Taffy with Parker and a few of the other kids at the party. This is made with Rubik's cubes. And Luke put in these two yellow ones right here. Those two. Good work, Luke. You're an artist. I throw it at the wall. It's one of the Krabby Patties. Which one are you going for? Whoa, it went for a hundred. Oh, don't put it on your... Oh. No, now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in trouble. Oh. Whoa, slime. Let's see your hand. Did you get slime? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Parker really wanted to go into this room, so that's what we're gonna do next. Did you like that? Eventually, we made our way back inside for some dancing and cotton candy. You got cotton candy? Are you having a good Kids' Choice Awards after party? Yes. It has been an amazing two days. I want to say a huge thank you to Nickelodeon for inviting us. We ate so much candy, saw so much slime, learned new things, and made so many amazing memories. And if you made it all the way to the end of today's video, I want to say thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.